This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what does the projection strength slider do with IMM brushes? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and then I have the earthquake model here loaded in, and I've gone through and just deleted his lower subdivisions on his body here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm come to the brush palette over here, and I'm just gonna select the IMM model kit brush. Then I'm gonna press M, and I'm gonna select the panels 10 insert. So now with this selected, if I just come across my model here and I drag it out, it's just going to draw this out like so. So it's going to look at that surface normal that you clicked on, and it's going to generate that insert mesh object from that surface normal. So now if we navigate to the brush palette here and we open up the modifiers area, you're gonna see that there is this projection strength slider. Now this projection strength slider, when you activate this, it's going to draw that insert mesh out and then it's going to project or conform that insert mesh shape to your model, applying a matchmaker type process. So let's just set this to 100. And now let's draw another insert mesh out, the same one on the earthquake here, but with that projection strength slider to 100. So if I start dragging this out, you're gonna see it's going to conform that insert mesh shape to the surface of your model. So if you rotate around here, you can see it's automatically applying a matchmaker function to that insert mesh. So giving you this effect. So this is really handy for taking any insert mesh objects you have and conforming them directly to the surface of your model. And this can be applied anywhere. It doesn't have to be applied, you know, to Earthquake's chest here. I can put it on his arm. And you can see it's going to deform that insert mesh so it fits perfectly on the model there. Now, if your insert mesh has really low topology, when it does this matchmaker type process, you're going to get some distortion. So just make sure you have enough topology on your insert mesh object before you turn on this brush projection strength modifier slider. And this will work for any insert mesh object. So let's press M again, and this time I'm gonna select, say, this holds one here, and draw this out. And you see it's going to take those bottom points and project them right onto the surface there. Now you control the strength of this projection through the slider, so at 100%, it's going to match 100%. So if I set this down to, say, 30 and drag it out, you're gonna get a little less of that projection. So it's still going to deform it some, but it's not going to deform it, you know, as much as it would if you had it set to 100. So that is what the projection strength modifier does here inside of ZBrush. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!